No, and guess what? I didn't record any of that. Isn't that fantastic? I didn't record it on this one, but I recorded it on that one. If intuition is a very important phenomenon when it comes to making great photographs, and I think women make better photographers than men. And I, I know it sounds like I'm being partial, but it's true. So we get to Freedom Park at about 6.30, no, 7 o'clock in the morning and we're supposed to start at 8 o'clock and it's raining heavily and I'm thinking, oh God, this is not going to happen again today. And, but, you know, Kalecha and Kem just say, let's wait it out. And through the form, by 8.30, we begin to see rain is stopping and there's a nice cloud. And that's, you know, and Kalecha says, that's perfect. You know, we have a perfect, um, Box, yes. Uh, can't remember the term again. Soft box, yes. By nine o'clock, we set out, and because of the rain, it's not so hot. It's actually quite cool, and it was. It turned out that you know the rain was actually a blessing, and because it just gave a, should I say, a nice, a, a different perspective. What I absolutely enjoyed was just the way I could connect with people. The new thing I was doing on this one was collecting their numbers so I can send them their pictures. So, <laughs> you know, it was really, really nice. And I saw that um, the young photographers were all really, really excited. So this is something I believe I should be doing more often. Walked for about two hours, and you know, we saw, we saw, I saw sights. I saw sights of Lagos I haven't seen it in a very long time. Broad Street, TBS, and not from a moving vehicle perspective, but just walking the streets, interacting, seeing people, seeing how people live their lives, seeing people working, going to work, and just seeing different perspectives. So it was actually very, very, very refreshing, and can't wait to do it again. And at this, for, for the first time, I think we did it, it was, very, it was very, very, very experiential. It's beautiful to see the number of female photographers shining in Nigeria and the army is growing. I think it's wonderful to know that the future of photography is female. And I'm, 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 I'm very proud to be a female photographer. Now I've been doing this for about 23 years and I'm realizing that uh, a lot of the photographers here with us doing this workshop, some of them were not born the time we already started working in photography. So um, we've, I've come to that stage in my career where I'm thinking of our legacy. It's really about unbundling myself of all that wisdom and letting it grow and germinate in the younger ones. So it's something that I do as a matter of habit now, just impacting knowledge and, you know, trying to become a bit of a teacher. So the wife for the work, simple. I like photography, great. So, but me liking photography and me going on the photo work is just one perspective. Getting different, different, a whole lot of people on a photo work looking at one thing. So, and I think it just, so, and I think it just helps us understand what is important to me is nothing as important to someone else. What someone sees as great, someone sees as you know normal. What someone sees as very boring, someone sees exciting. And when you see something that is exciting, you can capture that exciting bit that I didn't see, and then suddenly I begin to look at it from a different perspective. So I think that photography work, not just by me with me, but a lot of people, allows me to see, see what's going on in people's minds, right? How they see the person that is walking on the street how they see the person that is sending Accra or is taking his child to school. And it is educational. And I think 
when you're providing services to people, you have to understand their journey. And to, to good products are based on understanding customer, people's journey, getting information. And you know, photographs is about capturing information so you, you can help people make decisions. First, I'd like to thank you for coming and putting your energies into this, you know, and uh, it's a wonderful day. While doing this, I was just telling myself I should do this more often. What's incredible is that the only thing that time will give you is experience. But time, you don't need time to have permission. You can make great images right now. You don't need to say, well, let me go at this for a year and then I can now be great. You can be incredible with every single time. And I think the most important thing from what I learned from when you have done is what makes you an incredible human photographer is when you are an incredible human being. And photography is your excuse to connect to another human being. Imagine a very shy person, this great work, this great photography is a nightmare for me. <laughs> like, we are told, like, you know, when they say face your fears, so like, this is something we're going to keep doing until I'm, I'm used to it. I mean, like, you know, there are some people like crazy. I mean, like, you know, especially the ladies. There are some things that we were doing, like, you know, taking pictures I would never ever do. I mean, I remember the first time I, I did a space photography, I was hiding somewhere with my camera. Hope that they will not see me and sometimes it will take me about an hour to take that take that shot. Today was like seconds. Not only do you get great experience just walking the streets and getting to see how people are living, you're also capturing the information that's helping you in processing customers' journey and helping them, you know, live their lives. And in spite of what we say, you know, what do you want to do today? And for us to understand that we have to have to live people's journey and Walking down the street and capturing people's um, daily lives is just one way of doing it. We're fine, but I'm not going to do it again. At all. Not for anybody. <laughs>